Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today I'll be showing you how you can extract attachment from the Outlook. So you can extract uh, anything which is in the Outlook uh, and it will get saved in your desktop or anywhere you would like to know. So today I'll be showing you the step by step procedure whenever you click on this button your attachments from the email will get extracted to a folder like this so let's get started so let me just delete it for now and uh, unless we begin and delete everything over here as well so it's all clean okay so first of all we have to go to developer tab for those who doesn't know this we will go to file and we'll go to options and go to customize ribbon and just check this box developer now we go here in the developer we just click on design mode and then uh, we choose activex anyways by default design mode would, would get activated when, whenever we'll insert something so let me go to properties and give it a meaningful name like uh, btn underscore extract emails and give it a nice color as well by going to four color okay no not four color we have to choose back color and keep a different color over here and let me make this white and let me put caption as uh, extract emails perfect so i'll just double click on this and then i will start writing a code so before i write code i'll just write option explicit so that uh, there is no clash of variables a x p l i c i t okay so let's write the code so first of all uh, here we will be using a late binding that means that we will not add any references over here so that it works with all version of excel or um, outlook whenever you are downgrading or upgrading this file it will work so let us create uh, will uh, we will create a um, object over here since we are connecting with outlook so we will be creating some outlook objects over here so let me just create some outlook objects so i'll create outlook app as object and then i'll create outlook uh, mail as object then i'll be creating uh, items we will understand why we are doing all these things so right now you can just uh, look at what i am doing so we'll be creating folder as well then we we would require integer as well as integer and then we require a folder as well from where we'll be extracting our files sorry exporting okay so first of all we have to check if the outlook application is open so let's say set ol app let me copy this one outlook application equal to get object comma outlook dot application and uh, if it is not found or if there is a error number 429 it means that application is not found already open so let me create a new instance of application then create object outlook outlook dot application okay and, and if now we want to export these attachments or we want to export whatever attachment which gets extracted from outlook so we will just define a folder as sting the folder equal to this workbook which would take this workbook and path and then we will uh, create a folder in that so let's say we want extract where our files will get saved and uh, let me write a comment as well 
change extract to the folder name where where you would like to have your attachments attachments perfect now we have to set uh, outlook uh, folder to a particular mailbox so in my case my mailbox is dblock so let me just open outlook and show you that so that you don't get confused okay so i have a mailbox over here which is by the name dblock you might have a email long email as well over here so you have to change a few things that i'll show you right now and then i have inbox inside that where i my mails would be going so my main mailbox is dblog and my sub mailbox is inbox okay so let's write something here so set o outlook folder equal to outlook app dot get namespace this is a particular syntax to set folders from where we will be getting okay so my first uh, mailbox is dblog you might have gmail or anything and then other folder is uh, inbox so inbox and then let me write a comment over here change d block to your main mailbox and change inbox to your subfolder in the main mailbox perfect so let's move ahead <clears throat> now <clears throat> we have to uh, set the entire email to the the email to, to to a particular object so outlook items ideems yes. yeah perfect is equal to um so let me check this folder you are setting this to folder and uh, dot items dot items we might run into error as well so let's see how this work for okay so here i have set my this particular mailbox items to this and these all are set to this now so we have to just loop through this outlook items so for each outlook mail in ol items so we are looping through all items and then we will just uh, let me just put as next and here i'll write a small code so we are looping through all the emails in the mailbox which is specified over here and we will check if something is found so if ol mail outlook mail dot attach meant dot count is more than zero so it means there is something then we have to do something so what we have to do is we have to run a loop to get all the attachments so right now i just don't want one attachment i want all the attachments so i will write a loop over here this is another inner loop for j equal to one to mail dot attach 
attachments dot count so we have to count like if there are three attachments then it should run this loop should run three times and then we, I write next J and then it will run for each atta attachment so let me just write here ol mail outlook mail dot attach a c h m e n t s dot item item is j one two three dot save as file this is the entire syntax that i'm running okay so where we should save the file so i will just uh, copy this one string folder and then we have to put a slash over here and then we have to write the file name so which is ol mail dot attachments dot item j dot file name so now we have used this new variable as j so we have to define it somewhere so let me define and let me just change it to i i to j okay so once this is done then we have to just do the cleanup part so we'll just do set uh, outlook folder equal to nothing and set okay let me copy this these things set equal to nothing then outlook mails set to nothing and uh, also set app to nothing so we are just flushing the objects over here so that we get some we have some space and cleaning is done so let me just uh, run this automation this is the code let me just run this automation see what error i get so i just come out of design mode and click on this wow so what wrong i have done over here what is the error doesn't support this property okay so let me read it carefully it's uh, ol app dot get name space mapi dot folders under that d block dot folders okay there should be a s okay let me see it should work now okay nice it should be attachments i guess okay i think something is working now okay so let me just uh, delete this file and run my automation and see what we get let me just uh, minimize it restore it like this and then see okay so it is working this book has come over here if you want we can also uh, put a message box over here as msgbux and then put as done vb information and let me see how that works perfect so this is coming okay let me just uh, play with attachments i'm not sure if this is working perfectly so let me just play play with attachments so let me just copy this mail over here and uh, remove this attachment and add another attachment with the name as test and let's see how that works okay so i have added an attachment over here one is book one one is book one test okay and then we can also attach a image over here so let me just add an image also grab snap snapping tool and let me just uh, attach a image also of a flower 
I am doing it on the other screen so I think you can't see it. So let me just bring that capture. So now I have added an image also and let's just let's test this automation if this works fine. So I am just deleting everything from the extract folder which is under this and uh, I click on this now and debug is coming wow that's nice so get object a u t l o o k dot application so what's wrong with this one can't create object in case it doesn't get it we'll put on error resume next over here to handle this particular situation and let me just run it now done okay so let me see what has come in my extract okay so a capture file has also come over here so it is working fine and uh, i will also attach this code so that you can understand and how this works i think that is this is a longer video and in next video i'll show you that um, how you can customize it to have just the uh, just uh, images or PDFs so I hope this particular code would help you to extract your files from the mailbox if you have any questions you can ask me in comments